first time I held him, oh my goodness, I just, I hugged him. I hugged him and I wanted to squeeze him because he was a little fat baby. Cute, curly hair. I felt like he was invading my space. Honestly, um, when I met Ty, he was definitely uh, a different baby. He didn't do too much crying and he was always laughing at everything. Like, I don't know, like he just belonged here already. I looked up to him a lot. Uh, it was growing up with him, he was like, like right hand in hand. Like we did everything together. And I'm pretty sure he got annoyed at me because I was the little cousin who always did everything with him, but I really looked up to him. When I first met him, he was two. And Tiff and I were gonna go to the store. We were just gonna leave and go to the store. And uh, she said, come on Ty, put your shoes on, let's go. He was like, all right, I'll put my shoes on. So he puts his shoes on and he starts fumbling with the shoelaces and he tied his shoe. And she just stood there stunned. And I was like, well, what's wrong? And she said, he's never tied his shoe before. I didn't know he could do that. That's the moment that I knew he was special. Kindergarten, no later than first grade, a peewee coach, I guess he saw us at um, a grocery store or something, approached us and was like, hey, you have a pretty active kid. I seen him around the way with my kids. And have you ever thought about putting him in football? And of course we were like, no. <laughs> he does stuff, but we never thought about putting him in anything. And so they were like, well, just come to a few practices. Let's see how he does. First time he caught the ball, he kind of like, stood there and looked over at his mom like, what do I do? Like, just run. And that was the start of the touchdowns. Get it, Ty, get it, get it, get it, go! They took him out the game because he was scoring too many touchdowns. This was a regular thing. Throughout every season, I would see him play football. They allowed him to score two touchdowns and they would handicap uh, the match by taking him out the game. And that's, that's definitely like what spoke to me was like, okay, this, this is serious, you know? This isn't just a hobby, like this is something. He loved it. Football was everything for him. He talked about he wanted to play football at a college level. You know, he, that was his dream. He had 26 offers. 26 colleges looking for him, checking for him, wanting him to go there. We were firm. Tiffany was definitely firm in his decision and proud that he chose Utah, proud that he was gonna go far, proud that he was gonna see other things, other people do other things and just be great. How about I do, how about I do this to your hair? I don't let my hair get nappy like that, so you know. And they'll run it, Jordan! Ty Jordan! See you later! This Utah team, they finally found their featured back and true freshman, Ty Jordan. Mind-blowing, sensational. It was like a dream come true, you know? For him to be on national television, for everybody to see like this masterpiece of a little brother I have, like it, it just brought like this, this, this like satisfaction to my heart. You know, I would love to say that we were surprised, but we were not. Ty was so... When he was in Pee Wee, he would like throw the ball and like catch it himself and like make his own touchdown. So like that activeness, we knew he was gonna have. But he is so big of a person, personality, that he needed to share that with the world. And Utah helped him do that. Player of the game, game ball tight, Jordan. When he passed, it was, it was a lot. It was a lot to handle. Cause right before that was his mom and then it was him. It was a lot for me to handle, and I didn't really like talking about it, so I sectioned myself off from everyone. When he passed, it made me realize more about myself that like, with him watching over me, I feel like I could do so much more in any aspect. I'm only 36. He's a big part of my life. For a 19-year-old young man, he doesn't know, but he raised me. I would not be the parent that I am without him. I got to be a mom before I became biologically a mother. They really put me to the test 
but it was good to now see that like everything I was saying and doing really did mean something. His, his smile does still live. When you look at pictures, it's like he's still smiling. He's still smiling. It's amazing. His smile is everything. There's one thing I hope Ty is remembered for is his heart. It was gold, infectious. He smiled, you smiled. Just, just the kind of strength he provided. It was inspiring. It makes you feel like is you you can do better with yourself. He made his he made a he has a legacy. I'm happy for him for that. Cause oh my oh man. I bet he would have never imagined that. I bet he would have never in a, a million years imagined leaving behind a legacy. He doesn't have any kids. He was just starting his own life. But he built up enough in him to make a legacy for himself. I mean, I couldn't ask for more. That's a real big accomplishment. The fact that we can even call him a, where we're from in North Dallas, they were calling him the legend of number six. The fact that we can throw legend and legacy out there and talking about him. What else can I say?